In this series, we're going to take a closer look at BSI sequences and some of the shuffles that preserve or invert these sequences. So as the foundational definition, we have the following. A shuffle S is said to be a BSI shuffle if and only if S preserves or inverts BSI sequences. Recall the Bessie sequences of order 8 are the following 1001-0110 and its inversion 0110-1001. Those are the only two Bessie sequences of order 8. And we say that they are the inversion of one another. Informally, you can just think of them as resulting from the other by switching zeros for ones and ones for zeros. To anchor the labeling of the positions of the elements of these sequences, I've listed one through eight, and then below those numbers, I've indicated either a one or a zero. So for Bessie sequences of order eight, there are only two possibilities. First one, the ones are in positions 1, 4, 6, and 7, and the zeros are in positions 2, 3, 5, 8. Or if we consider the inversion of this Bessie sequence, we get the following. The 1's are now in positions 2, 3, 5, 8, and the zeros are in positions 1, 4, 6, 7. To further aid us in understanding the diagrams on the left-hand side of the screen, I've color-coded the different digits. So if you want to picture these as a black card, a red card, a red card, black, red, black, black, red, that would work just fine as a model to represent the structure of a Bessie sequence. And here I've identified a set A as consisting of the positions 1, 4, 6, 7, and its complement, that's what the bar means, the complement of A, consisting of the positions 2, 3, 5, 8. Now what this means here, and it's also found on the top left-hand side of the screen here, so like if you can see the hand moving on the left, in each corner I have a little diagram. So this first one, what it's denoting is the objects in these positions, one, four, six, seven, after they've been rearranged or shuffled, will still be in positions one, four, six, seven, even though they may have traded places within these four position values. The same thing here. This depiction represents the objects in position 2, 3, 5, 8 as staying in those positions, 2, 3, 5, 8, even though they may switch places within this list of position values. Now that's in contrast to the following, where we have the objects in these position values after the shuffle they get moved to the positions that are found in a complement, namely 2, 3, 5, 8. So in other words, there's a wholesale exchange of the 1, 4, 6, 7 with some assignment of 2, 3, 5, 8. It's like they just switch places. For example, if the reds and blacks all switch places here, that would mean that the first in the first position it would now be a red card, namely one of the ones that initially started out in position two, three, five, eight. The next one would be black, and then black, red, black, red, red, black. Okay? This will become clearer as we move ahead. Okay, so let's go a bit more deeply into the mathematics 